hello everyone so i hope you are all good and welcome again to this channel so today we are going to discuss about the question answering system for unstructured table images so this paper is proposed by zero at all in 2021 and uh, first uh, what is unstructured table images so uh, unstructured table is uh, like uh, you have a uh, data of table in an unstructured form unstructured form is in as a form of image in which you cannot directly uh, use sql queries or etc to fetch that uh, particular record from that doc, uh, particular uh, row top rows or column from that uh, record so uh, for that only so let's uh, see this side so here this is a uh, form of structured semi structure table and uh, but it is a uh, it is in form of image so exactly semi structure table is if, uh, whenever it is in form of uh, some structured say uh, with uh, like this is in csv forms it is somewhat semi structured form but a structured form will be like uh, in what form you want to get your on uh, this record so uh, um first uh, the paper uh, target of this paper is first it convert this unstructured table image into a semi structured table and then a uh, question answering over this table is performed by uh, using par table parser so uh, pro uh, this paper proposed a question answering system for an unstructured table image so in which uh, they have used a uh, tgr nat and uh, a table parser that is called tapas so first uh, for recognition it uses tgrnet uh, that uh, okay so this document exists table and then uh, table parser that for uh, parsing and also this paper extend this table uh, recognition model that is tgrnet with a text recognition module to extract text uh, within each table cell so yeah so also uh, there was no data set like uh, uh, they have so for that purpose it means there is uh, some uh, different data set available but for as per this paper they are saying that uh, what uh, exactly they are going to do over the table so there is a uh, uh, lack of those these kind of data so for the uh, sake of this uh, things they have prepared a demo data set for uh, this experiment so let's see uh, how this complete module work so first uh, they have here uh, input table image that image is called unstructured semi image uh, unstructured table image and then uh, this uh, image is uh, uh, giving as input to the tgr net and tgr net uh, uh, we have seen that tgr net is a table recognizer so here this tgrnet will uh, recognize the table so uh, tgrnet uh, extract multi scale feature representation more and uh, then tgrnet jointly predict the cell spatial location and logical spatial location in a uh, multitask manner so what is cell spatial location and uh, um, um, cell logical location so uh, these two locations is uh, uh it's like for a uh, uh, first uh, in which uh, this particular cell special location that these are calling they are calling it as cell so these are module have a cell segmentation module first so first they are segmenting it as a table uh, as a rows and column as a box so this cell segmentation module predict whether a pixel belongs to a table cell or not so if pixel belongs to a table cell then it will further process that otherwise it will, it will just ignore that that uh, this is not a part of table so once uh, this uh, cell segmentation model work then uh, after that this post processing have uh, done for cell spatial location and uh, cell spatial location is uh, bounding box information uh, for uh, uh, in the form of bi b by bi bh height with x y axis labels all these so bounding most information so this uh, information uh, will go to cnn module for uh, with by lstm over that they find the L uh, ctc loss for uh, 
cell text and also logical lo uh, is for a logical location uh, further they have used this uh, bounding box information to this uh, uh, with the use of gcn graph convolution network with ordinal classifier so uh, this uh, graph uh, for uh, sorry for this uh, cell logical location this table graph is initialized uh, using all detected cell boxes uh, these uh, cell boxes after that a gcn is used by tgrnet to learn table graph representation so it uh, it will learn table graph representation once table graph representation learn in the form of uh, and convert in the form of semi structure table then um, the next task is question answering over that table so for uh, question answering for some before that some pre processing like using some tokens uh, CLS token and AND token, token uh, SCP token. So these are some of the token for uh, used for this. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so uh, for question answering, so question is given to this module. Uh, this question is uh, converted into a token uh, number of tokens with respective tables, and then this uh, combined link goes to this uh, tapas module. And what is this tapas module? Tapas module is a uh, uh, bird based encoder um, encoder so for this encoding so uh, they use tapas module here so um, this will tapas module help you to uh, output your answer corresponding to your question so uh, let's see this paper uh, because this is a o overview but uh, i think this is a easy uh, this is a paper that we should look at it so sorry uh, where is that? Yeah, I think yeah. So here, yeah. oh, okay. So in the methodology, we can uh, say methods. The main framework of the proposed question answering system for an structure table is in showing and figure that we have seen, which mainly consists of table recognizer module and uh, to recognize the table structure and table parsing modules tapas to parse the semantic of uh, semantic of table and related question so here uh, we have seen this yeah and then uh, well, what exactly so the task is given a table uh, given a table image with a question the proposed a question answering system is expected to end, uh, output a proper answer so they uh, then they introduce a part of system in details as follows so this diagram we have seen let's look at uh, i just uh, divide this diagram into two part and then convert that into uh, horizontal form but here uh, complete diagram how can you see i think now okay let me yeah so this is complete diagram of uh, input image going in TGR net question is going inside tokenizer and uh, input image after to uh, TGR net converted to a semi structure table and then tokenize it and then use, use the tapas module to answer so for this uh, TGR net uh, takes a table uh, image as input and utilizes a backbone network uh, yeah this so why this back backbone network to extract multi-scale feature representation then tgr jointly predict the cell spatial location and logical spatial location in a multitask manner so here is cell spatial location this cell spatial location and cell a logical location okay so uh yeah now multitask manner specifically to detect cell spatial location these are not uses a segmentation based module to predict whether a pixel belongs to a table cell or not so from the predicted segmentation map uh, they compute the minimum rectangular bounding box for a connected component to acquire the cell spatial location so this is uh, i think you have to remember from the predicted uh, segmentation map they computed minimum rectangle, uh, minimum rectangular bounding boxes for each connected component to acquire the spatial cell location. So, so yeah. So here uh, in diagram we have seen this spatial location. So this is bounding boxes. 
so which is indicated by center points with height and this corresponding uh, box so bi is equals to xi by with height yeah for uh, the cell logical location table graph is initialized using all detected uh, cell boxes after that a uh, graph uh, convolution network is used by tgrnet to learn table graph representation um, okay and uh, here in this uh, table graph gcn is using here i have one video on gcn also if you like you can go to that video to uh, understand about gcn so here tgcn is used with the ordinal classifier for finding uh, this uh, spatial location so is uh, so this is a uh, gcn is used by tgnr to learn table graph representation uh, lastly an ordinal node classifier is used to predict the cell uh, logical location by the four uh, logical indices of uh, each cell so the start row the end row the start column and the end column so these are four uh, things in, inside that um, <clears throat> this cell a spatial uh, cell uh, logical location for a uh, four uh, logical indices uh, in addition uh, condition uh, considering the uh, sorry in addition the considering that the uh, original tgr not only cares about the cares about what only cares about the you space and logical locations of each cell good so yeah and uh, then uh, they extend tgnet with the optical character recognition module based on the ppocr to recognize text ti within the ith cell nice so they have also used this optical character recognition here so with the acquire uh, logical locations and text of each cell the table can be represented in a semi structured form uh, that is a dictionary of series object so then uh, they flatten the table into a sequence of words that are further tokenized and concatenated within the uh, questions token as the input of the tapas module uh, the architecture of uh, tapas is based on word encoder uh, with additional positional embedding right and that captures tabular structure uh, tabular structure means row and column indices and two classification layers for uh, selecting cell and predicting uh, corresponding aggregation operator that is some average and count so they output the predicted answers by aggregating the selected cells according to the predicted operator so this, this is quite a simple things like uh, um, if you want to uh, know more about this how tapas is uh, work exactly work so i'll make uh, one more video over this completely over this tapas module based on bart okay so thank you for, for this video thank you for listening me and uh, thank you for your like share and subscribe